Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework tutorial. This is our part number 12. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about database connection. In the previous part, successfully we have completed all about that is how can we create controllers, configure routes and many more. This time, now we are going to start over database connection. So if I back to application architecture, this is all about we have called Code Igniter for setup. So for the database perspective, we have two different approaches to connect with database. So the first by using .env file stands for .environment file. In the second, we need to use database.php file from config folder. Now if we go inside this first approach by using this .env and as we know that inside this .env file every key or let's say every line what we are seeing is a environment variable. So inside this list of environment variables we will see that here we have a database dot default dot host name dot database dot username dot password and dot dv driver this is all about that we have a default key with our first database connection here we have the second connection details with the key called test so if we want to use our database inside this application we need to configure all about this default key so this is the first approach now if we are talking about the second approach we need to go inside this app folder config folder inside this config we have database.php now inside this file we have a class called database inside this we have an array with the name of default again inside this class we have second array with the name of test what we have seen inside .env file so if we want to make our database connection details so either we can pass details inside this default right here inside this database.php or inside .env file so what i will do I will use .env file so click on that file and as we know that if we want to use any of the environment variables from this file we need to remove hashed symbol from here so first we need to create a database so back to browser back to phpMyAdmin click on database and let's say that learn underscore ci4 underscore tutorials so I will copy the name of database, click on create, database has been created. So right now there is no table about tables we will discuss in upcoming videos. Now copy the DB name, back to editor, first we need to remove this hash symbol because we are going to use this environment variables. All we are going to use localhost so it's fine, database we have called learn underscore ci4 underscore tutorials in my case the username and the password is root in your case it will be something different now if i save all these changes now successfully we have configured all about this database inside this application now the next task we have called how can we load the database connection to our controller go to app go inside controllers folder click on site controller and inside this controller what I will do I will create a construct function so let's say construct and inside this construct method we are going to load our database so what I will do this DB equal to we are going to use a service so config here we have database and we are going to use connect method so while writing this line it means we are going to use this default as a key means database connection detail now by the help of this db instance means by the help of this db we can execute our queries so inside code igniter 
means inside code editor 4 we have three different ways by the help of those we can execute our query to our database so what are those ways first either we can use raw queries in the second we can use query builder class in the third we can use models based concept if I back to slide go to second slide so these are the methods by the help of these we can connect with the database and perform our operations so from the next video we will discuss that how can we execute our queries by using raw queries method after that we will see query builder and next we will see models based concept so successfully guys inside this video now we have connected with our database from the next videos we will query to our database and perform all about CRUD operations so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day